For me, the sosiego it's a very contemporary phenomena related more to big cities. So something what started after well with the industrialization that cities become more interesting than all the land. But at the moment actually it's also happening two different movements as many people are leaving the city going back to the land because exactly of this overview or exaggerated information that we have and exaggerated things that we have to deal with in the modern and the in this contemporary cities. And so the Sassociego is a typical state what you can actually put more as a state of mind when your mind is really restless and this restless mind and this mind that is trying to catch everything and is trying to be at all the places at the same time but in a way it's not being in any place anymore. So I think this is a really contemporary uh, aspect of how we are living. So we are trying to be in all the places at the same time but in a way it's getting harder and harder to find one place or one state where you really keep focus. So this, uh, this idea of bringing something really to, to one point. And so this restless mind for me is a state. It is uh, very beautiful to see how things develop. And I think it's really also very nice, uh, as Natalie also said, to have a, a very big part of spontaneous uh, thinking or spontaneous feeling which come into the project. So if everything, you have to have a plan, of course, but on the other hand, it's, um, it's nice to, to let the things go and, and, and be spontaneous and be open-minded and see things because this was actually also a, a part of the project, like uh, go through the city and observe the city, how uh, observe spaces and to find the sort of uh, spaces in, to, in, in the city, but uh, you cannot, you don't know the things before, you know, so we just kept walking and, and observing people and people were observing us or they didn't even observe us, so this is, uh, was um, a very interesting uh, kind of work and I think uh, it gave me, it made me much more richer. This work, uh, I think, was uh, very special because it was a, a, a mixture between uh, a creation um, uh, from Natalie as performer and, and me finding and giving her the right uh, space in my uh, vision of photography. So uh, I think that's very nice actually, uh, very beautiful. So it's, uh, it's actually you multiplicate uh, the work um, or they multiplicate the, the creativity also in a way. If, and so things can really um, grow and grow and grow until it gets to an end and then, then it's over, finally. <laughs> Silence in general, I have the, almost in everything I do, I have a lot of silence. But in this project, it was really trying to find silence, internal silence, in the city, in a big city like Madrid. So silence is, is also, for me, a metaphor of reduction. Uh, I'm thinking the same time for the final event, that it really goes into each other, uh, fits into each other, uh, this was uh, very beautiful. When we started preparing the room, the space, then it really, it came also again, the, the ideas. And this is, uh, we had some sort of ideas, but then in the end, we figured out the best is that less is more. 